New at 6, drowning danger as the temperatures go up. Many families look to the pools and lakes for relief, but sadly, drownings happen all too often this time of year. The CDC says 10 people die every day from unintentional drowning. For kids one to four years old, it's the leading cause of accidental death. NBC Charlotte's Rachel Lumberg and Rock Hill tonight with a look at what parents need to know about pool safety. Rachel. Well, kids have been packing this pool here in Rock Hill at the YMCA all day. It is so hot outside, so anybody wants to just jump in a body of water, get in the pool behind me. Well, that makes everything a bit chaotic, and then it's difficult to keep an eye on your child. I have a two year old that I have to make sure I keep a puddle jumper on her and keep her within arm's reach at all times. Before taking the kids to the backyard or public pools, make sure there's enough supervision, proper fencing, alarms, that they've had survival swimming lessons and someone is CPR certified. As soon as the pools open, things happen. Recently, Olympic champion Bodie Miller confirming the devastating news on Instagram that his 19 month old passed away in an accidental drowning. It just takes a second with your back turned, no matter how great of a parent you are. It's definitely terrifying to think about, and especially when you have little ones who aren't swimming proficiently yet. A child could look like they're playing in the water mm -hmm. here and really they're fighting for survival. Right. How do you tell the difference? I mean, that's so that's part of that challenge of supervision, right? Is because if you're only watching for a few seconds when you're looking up from your phone, oh, they're fine, and you look back down at your phone. We've seen cases where people have drowned in front of other people and nobody recognized what was actually going on because it looked just like they were playing. That was Piedmont's EMS director. He also says that if somebody is drowning, the chances of survival go down 10% every minute. So it's mm. crucial that you keep your eyes on your kids whenever they're in a body of water. Reporting in Rock Hill, I'm Rachel Lundberg for NBC Charlotte. Good advice, Rachel. Thank you.